My name is Christian Mio-Leclerc. I'm art director at Waltz Binaire. I'm designer and artist. And I investigate how machines could create creative content. I do believe that there's a proximity coming between humans and machines. They start to overlap. We often feel that machines might uh, take too much space of, of the things that are important to us. And I do believe it is the opposite. That means I'm not worried about machine being humanized. I do believe humans become incredibly fast mechanical and digital. And the last thing, when you said that, when you kind of, it, like, it predicts how you're going to look into a mirror when you put your clothes on, you're going to give up on looking at the mirror. Why do you say that? Uh, be because I do believe it will be just another sensation, a sensation that in that case proves that we don't have a choice and we will just move on. We will have to adapt, and this is our biggest ability, to adapt to new environments. And in this new environment, there's something that tells you what you're going to do next, and you will also survive this. You will just move on, but that is how it gets you in the end, if you stop caring. What you just saw is the magic of a human becoming a robot, performed by top four world-ranked soloists. In my opinion, the most virtuos to ever do it. We do it since 40, 50 years. Humans started to dance like machines for no reason. And all of a sudden, this Greek guy became the best, in my opinion. I'm so impressed by him, not only because he's one of my, well, oldest friends, uh, join him and dance together with him, for many, many years together, we grew up becoming older, becoming robots. We toured from the streets of Berlin to the cities and different theaters and movies all over the world, just being robots forever. And this was an incredible fun to us, but still I believe that we always failed because robot dancers do not want to be known, hey, you're a good robot dancer. That's not the task. Just like actors don't want to be very good at acting, lying, pretending, no actors want to become someone else. That is the idea. Robot dancers want to become something else. We want our blood to turn into electronic signals, our bones into metal and our muscles into engines. And then we want to believe this act in space, so you believe it too. And then we share this reality that it's possible, this magic, that a human becomes a robot. And we fail because you're incredible scientists, just too good as observers since you were little children. So when little children basically see a robot dancer for the first time, then they just cannot believe it. There's just excitement. There's magic, and in this phase, everything is naive and pure. There is belief, and that drives them. But there is so much energy that they cannot carry it for too long. So they have to go to the second phase, which is curiosity. That means they take a closer look if this magic truly persists. They start to wave with your hand just for one reason. They want to see if your eyes follow. Then they start to poke your leg to see if you get offended when your knee no, starts to breathe more heavily to finally when they see that you blink because your eyes dry out. And then they got you. In that moment they know that they have been tricked and fooled and they don't see magic. They just see another 